Well, for years, April has marked the season of dogwood arts in Knoxville. Even in this time of social distancing, the show must go on. Emily DeVoe explains the changes organizers are making to ensure you can still admire the work of several talented artists and enjoy the beauty of East Tennessee while staying safe. Every year, the Dogwood Arts Festival showcases artists, musicians, and makers. But for the first time, the entire festival is moving from downtown to your computer. This would have been my first Dogwood Arts as a vendor. Allie Biddle is one of the more than 100 artists who planned on showcasing their work in Market Square. When a show is canceled, you lose, you can lose so much income um, because you're depending on that show in your year. That's one of the reasons Dogwood Arts created a virtual festival, highlighting every artist online. We really want to, to support and do everything that we can um, to kind of drive traffic to these artists' websites as so many of them rely on the income that festivals like ours um, bring in for them. Another virtual addition to the Dogwood Arts season is a collection of coloring sheets that you can decorate at home. Each one is gonna celebrate a different aspect of our events and programs. Um, last week, the, the coloring page celebrated the iconic Dogwood Trails. We're gonna do one that highlights the Dogwood Arts Festival, the Art and Public Places program. You'll even be able to create your own mural like the ones that you see in Strong Alley. While the festival is going virtual, a key part of Dogwood Arts remains the same. The more than 85 miles of trails through some of Knoxville's most scenic neighborhoods. The trails officially open Wednesday, but East Tennessee is already in bloom. Took a little drive to see what I could find in bloom, and the red buds are absolutely stunning this year. The tulips are blooming. There are all kinds of perennials and wildflowers, and everybody's out working in their yard, getting ready for this time of year. I think with this being uh, socially distanced a little bit, there's a lot more yard work going on than I usually see out there. This year's featured trail is Sequoia Hills. It's also the oldest, designated as the first Dogwood Trail in 1955. We are encouraging everyone to still get outside and enjoy the beauty of spring in East Tennessee. You can do that by driving the trail with your family or you can go in your own backyard and see what's blooming out there that you may not have noticed before. Just get outside and try and find joy in your surroundings. For Live at 5 at 4, I'm Emily DeVoe. And if you visit Dogwood Arts Festival online, you can vote for your favorite artist and the winner will be announced at the end of next month. Well, still more Live at 5 at 4 coming up after a quick break.